Hello, this is a specimen of the lung, and we're looking here at the pleural surface. So we can see, first of all, that the lung is actually rather dark in colour. It's quite black in many areas, indicating that there is probably carbon deposition in the lung, and therefore this potentially may be a smoker. Of course, it also depends on the patient's occupational history. Now, the main pathology here is these balloon-like spaces right up against the visceral pleura. And as I move around, you can see more here at the base of the lung. These are known as bullae if they are more than 1 cm or blebs if they are less than 1 cm in diameter. This is an example of bullous emphysema. So emphysema is defined as the irreversible enlargement of air spaces that are distal to the terminal bronchiole accompanied by destruction of their walls. However, in this condition, there is usually no significant fibrosis or scarring. Microscopically, we will see that these air spaces are indeed dilated. As I move around, you can see that they are larger. In fact, many of the walls or the septae of the alveolar spaces look like they are floating around. Um, and this is a characteristic appearance in emphysema. You can see these septae that are floating around. So because of the damage and destruction of the distal airways, gaseous exchange is markedly impaired. So these patients will generally suffer from severe dyspnea. And also because of the presence of these very, very thinned out bullae near the, uh, near the pleural surface, they may also rupture and this may give rise to a complication of pneumothorax. In the long term, because of the chronic damage to the lung parenchymal structure, there may also be pulmonary hypertension affecting the lung vasculature and this may result in core pulmonary or right heart failure. So just to summarize, this is the specimen of a lung showing bullous emphysema with these large balloon-like air spaces. The larger ones are called bullae because they're more than 1 cm in diameter, and the smaller ones that are less than 1 cm in diameter are called blebs, and the underlying condition is emphysema. There are many causes of emphysema. And a very important and common cause is smoking. And you can read up on the pathogenesis of emphysema, what actually causes the destruction of these alveolar or respiratory bronchiolar walls. Um, it is usually due to a, an imbalance of proteases and antiproteases.